So first question is the Forest Aviation Headquarters wants to hear from you. What's your opinion about the, the fire, world fire trend all over the world, and how? What's the role? And what's the responding from using the helicopters? Okay, well that's a, that's a great question, Juan. First of all, I want to thank Director General Ko and the Korea Forestry Service for welcoming us here today. Uh, we've had very productive meetings and I uh, really appreciate the hospitality. We had a great interchange. Um, I think with respect to global uh, wildfires, you know, the, the data suggests that the, uh, the amount of area being burned uh, every year on average, while there's some inconsistencies, uh, is increasing. And there's, there's greater volatility in the data also in that the year-to-year -year variation in the locations of the fires is, is ever-changing. So what that means is that we, uh, as a helicopter industry, have to respond and uh, be able to be positioned and to predict and to support our aircraft to do an ever-increasing number of flight hours and missions. Now, supply chain for helicopters uh, has always been challenging. And post-pandemic, uh, you know, there were, there were even greater challenges. That's somewhat improving, but I think, you know, in general, the data suggests that there are going to be an increasing amount of demand for helicopters doing uh, aerial firefighting, and especially in the Type 1 aircraft. So I think we, we, we have a tremendous challenge, uh, and a lot of it's going to be around doing a good job of forecasting at least supply chain, uh, doing a good job of contracting the right aircraft in the right places, uh, and then doing a good job supporting those aircraft, you know, with the, 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 the uh, pilots and maintainers who are so critical to our business. Okay, the second question is, the Ericsson recently signed a contract for the new, newly built the S-64E helicopters. And what, what's your, how are you going to execute that contract and what's your thoughts? Well, first of all, I think, uh, Juan, we're, we're very grateful for the opportunity to build uh, FPA 210. Uh, I think it's, uh, it shows your confidence in us. We've had a long-standing history of being very successful uh, making aircraft for Korea Forestry Service. This represents a new challenge for us uh, in, in a few areas. Uh, in particular, we have some, uh, some new technology we're introducing into the aircraft, and it's also going to be a new airframe build. So that presents challenges. Uh, but ultimately, you know, the solution to these challenges is going to be disciplined program management and communication with our customer. So one of the things we talked about today uh, is having a, a great degree of engagement between our organizations on a very regular basis so that we're communicating how the program is progressing, what, uh, what our mutual concerns are, how we will address the risks and challenges in the program, and I think we have to do that uh, together. I think. Uh, you know, our partnership has been great for many, many years. We need to continue that partnership with really good communication in this program to make sure that everyone is aligned uh, and, we, and we meet the challenges together. My confidence in, in our ability to execute the program uh, is, is based on discipline tools that we'll be using. Uh, in some cases, these are tools we'll be using for the first time on a new airframe build but it's about creating a, a cost structure and a work breakdown structure that allows us to manage the, the, the work required in, in digestible amounts. It's about creating a schedule and ensuring on a daily basis that we're adhering to that schedule. And it's also about creating a supply chain model well in advance that identifies strategically who our supply chain partners are going to be and creating the infrastructure so that we're managing all aspects of the supply chain as early as possible. So the steps we've already taken, I think position us well to execute the program over the next 36 months. Uh, at the same time, uh, there's gonna be a lot of challenges and it's gonna be up to us to identify all of the risks and all the changes in the program as we go along and again, engage with the Korea Forestry Service to make sure that as a, as a combined group, we're understanding and agreeing on the best way to face those challenges and the best way to make sure that the program is moving forward on schedule and on budget.